Right guys, in this video, I do apologise for the quality, it's terrible, but it was kind of one of those jobs where you're in a real rush to do it, but you've really got to get it filmed, and I really wanted to get it done for you guys. Just a real quick video on how to swap a socket without an isolation switch. Quite straightforward, really, really simple guys. So easy to do. But please make sure you isolate the mains before you do anything. Take all safety precautions you need to. You lock it off because you don't know who's in the property or who's working around you. Even if you think nobody's there, you don't know. Also, only attempt this if you're qualified. I happen to be qualified, so that's all okay on my half. So please remember guys, when you work in these sort of systems, that the wiring systems can be old. This, this system was obviously prior 2006 when the, all the regulations changed. So meaning red was live, black was um, neutral, instead of brown and blue. And just remember guys, safety first. Let's get into the video. We've taken the screws out here. We know the power switched off and isolated safely. We've tested it with the tester. What we're going to do, pull it forward like so. There's your red, which is your live. Your black at the bottom there, which is your neutral, and your earth. And all you're going to do is unscrew the securing screws with a slotted screwdriver and slide the wires out. And if you notice, on your new board, it will be very, very similar. It's a quite easy swap, this is. You've got your earth there, your neutral there, and your live there. Now again, can you see the black and the blue? Because new neutral wires are blue and new live wires are brown. So please take that into account when you're coming across or swapping the wires yourself. So once you remove the front face, you'll notice that the wires may need to be swapped around. In this case, we're actually quite lucky because there's your live there. There's a light there, neutral, neutral, and earth. Most of the time, they'll be in the same place, but it might be true that on one occasion that they may have swapped it around or, or whatever. You may have to do some sort of adjustments. So let's go ahead and put the new socket on. So once you're happy with all the wires, make sure they're in correctly. Give them a little tug with your pliers on the back end, just to make sure that they don't fall out. So just work your way around and make sure no wires fall out when you give them a tug. And then once you're happy, secure the socket back on with the securing screws. Now we're happy, let's go ahead and give it a test. Thank you very much for watching guys. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button and that little bell, that really helps me. It doesn't mean anything to you, but it means a lot to me. And I will see you on the next video.